pushed in by protesters, pulled out by council workers. The statue of slave trader Edward Colston was retrieved at around five o'clock this morning. It meant the large crowds who witnessed its toppling weren't there. It'll be taken to a safe location before becoming a museum exhibit. But what will become of this work, commemorating Scout's founder, Robert Baden-Powell? The council plans to remove it, following police advice to protect it. But locals are fighting that. Is it liberal to go tearing down statues? Is it democratic when the vast majority of people in this town want this to stay? Put something up around it to protect yes, do it. Don't yes, take it down. Yes. The statue could be susceptible to an attack due to Baden-Powell's alleged racism, homophobia and support for Adolf Hitler. The purpose of temporarily removing the statue is to protect it for the longer term and it most definitely will be back in its rightful position when it is safe to do so. Demonstrations like the Black Lives Matter protest in Westminster last weekend remain illegal under COVID-19 lockdown laws. But today, police leaders stress they have no plans to shut down demos planned in the next few days. It means officers must somehow balance public health and public order. It's not a desirable situation, but I don't really think that the police can do very much about it, given the numbers that, that they've got. So I, I really do think the police will have to focus on policing the protests and probably, by and large, ignore the COVID legislation. Baden-Powell's statue is now to be given round-the-clock security until a decision is made about its future. The debate about Britain's baggage is intensifying. Julian Drucker, 5 News.